by Sister Gloria Thomas. All right, big sister. First, give an honor to God and to my illustrious, loving pastor and all of my church family. Um, Sister Bruce, I said, Sister Thomas, I know you're going to talk, but you got to read a poem first. <laughs> you hear me, Sister Thomas? <laughs> she called me the other day. Sister Thomas, you got your poem? Because I know you're going to talk, but I, you got to read it. You're on the program now. Don't make me look bad. You got to read a poem. <laughs> Thank you for your spirit of leadership. Thank you. Amen. And pulling us together. Yes. Thank you. Amen. So, and thank you, Mama, because if I hadn't been taught to go to church on okay. Sunday mornings and okay. participate in programs, I wouldn't be standing here right Amen. now. Amen. So, thank you. Amen. So, today, Pastor, and I speak for the rest of us, I celebrate you. Amen. On your birthday, I celebrate you on your special day. I'm thinking of all the wonderful things you are that brings so much joy to others, including me. I celebrate your unconquerable spirit that leads, that lets you meet every challenge with confidence, enthusiasm, and persistence. I admire your sensitivity. You see needs that cry out to be met that no one else sees, and you meet them out of your deep and caring heart, out of your wisdom, out of your strength. I treasure your uniqueness. There is no one else like you. And I feel blessed to know you, such an extraordinary person. I appreciate you, respect you, cherish you, look up to you. Happy, happy birthday. May each new birthday be the best one ever for you, Amen. because you, Pastor, deserve it. Amen. Woo. Um, Amen. I'm really full this morning. You know, we're in such a blessed position. Mm -hmm. You know, it, Sister, uh, I call her Lady B. Lady B always puts the icing on the cake. You know, our gift is that he's our pastor. Right. You know, our gift is that he has the kind of love yeah. that he does give just, um, just indescribable love. Yes. And he, so, he doesn't discriminate because he doesn't yeah. just love us like this. Mm -hmm. He That's does right. not just love us right. like this. And mm -hmm. we feel special. Like, you know, we might kind of jock with each other so we can be in his, you know, first. <laughs> but we're all first. Amen. We're our pastor's concern. And the love that he gives us is so natural and so um, sincere that when we look at him operate with other people, we, I think, I'm speak for me, I know y'all feel the same way, we feel a little jealous for a minute, but then we realize he treats everybody like that. Yeah. You know, we are in a, in a unique position that this man has the kind of heart that is full of the kind of love that he's not afraid to share. And because he's not afraid to share his love with everybody, he teaches us what a true Christian walk looks like. Christian right. walks right. lead by love. Yeah. They're guided by their hearts. They're guided by their hope. They're guided by their dreams. They're not guided by economy and who's mad at who and who shot who and who don't like who. They're guided by love. So I tell people all the time, I'm a Christian, and when they start backing up, because, you know, some of us got, don't have a good reputation, but I say, I'm a real one. And I got a real pastor, and I belong to a real church, because I'm proud to be a member of this church. I'm proud that my pastor is the kind of man who leads with his heart. He's not afraid to show his love. And God knows in heaven, if we ever needed a man who could love, we need him now. Amen. If we ever needed a man who, were, who was willing to be led by the Spirit and willing to do the right thing for the right reason, period, God knows we need him now. So, Pastor, I speak for the church family. I speak for my mother who's here with me today. I feel like it's my birthday. <laughs> I feel like Christmas. 
Christmas. And it, is, it, it really is an honor. It's an honor to call you my pastor. You are, I'm going to say this and I'm going to go to my seat. My sister got the clock on me. But sometimes, as Lady B spoke about this, when a man like Pastor McClinton has a fellowship uh, flock that looks like us, we're women who, many of us, our fathers have already gone home. Many of us maybe have brothers, but we're not that close to them. Many of our sons maybe are here, or maybe are not that close to us. So all that love that we have, we have no choice but to give it to him. And because he's as gracious as he is, his heart receives the love we have for him. And it allows us to, you know, God wasn't making mistakes when he made men and women. When he made male and female, he wants us to love each other. To love each other. So, you know, I'm very proud that the Lord sent a man like Pastor McClinton to my life because my father isn't here. And I, I use him as my father, as my brother, as my friend. But I, I'm, I'm most blessed to call him pastor. Amen. Thank you. Amen.